Hi everyone, directly from Glasgow, Scotland, and we are at the third stop of the Advanced Coach Education uh, course. We have the privilege this time to have uh, Ingo Kindebarter, um, head coach of the Scottish squad and also tutor of this course. Ingo, welcome, or maybe welcome me because I'm in your, uh, in your neighborhood. Um, you have been involved from the very beginning in the project, but now this is the first time that you are face to face with all the 16 coaches. How do you feel about that? Uh, yeah, to be honest, to me, it feels like I'm, I'm really getting, you know, only started with it in this week. Obviously, I've been, I've been involved in the, you know, like as you said, from the beginning on with this project. But this week definitely feels different. So it's a, it's a, um, yeah, it's nice to actually be directly involved, see them face to face, and you know, like the planning work being put into action. I know that there were like two weeks happening before this one already, and. Uh, um, I've also like you know been involved in some online meetings and uh, um, also like one to ones with my mentees because I'm also one of the mentors for these guys. Um, so I've been involved, but yeah, this week definitely feels nicer uh, to have everyone here in Glasgow also. So you're very very wel uh, welcome also to to, to uh, spend this week uh, with us in our training center. And yeah, no, it's nice. It feels like um, that's that's the kind of work that I prefer. Obviously, you know, like the uh, actual interactions and and you know, kicking this project off. And you are a coach yourself, that's your main role, but in the project you are involved as a tutor. How do you, how do you see that uh, switching hat and how do you see yourself in the, in the tutor role? Um, I mean, I, I'm not overthinking that role, I suppose, you know, like you, when, when, when you work as a coach, then you also, uh, um, you know, you, you really value the exchange with other coaches and that's how I look at it. Obviously, I've got some official parts also in terms of presentation, but you know, for me, this is also mainly a chance to, you know, have a chat with other coaches and uh, exchange opinions and so on. So it was also really nice to have Kenneth here as the other uh, main tutor, I suppose, like also Jakob. But Jakob, we go way back also. Like yeah, Kenneth, I really met for the first time here, and there were also some like really interesting perspectives for me in there. So this this is how I look at this, and I don't overthink the official role that I have, I suppose. And as you have mentioned, there are a certain pathways that we have to follow. One of them has been the coaching philosophy, and you were also sharing uh, yours with us. How could you summarize uh, the foundation of your coaching philosophy for those one that don't have the privilege of being here sharing this education? Um, how do I summarize my coaching philosophy? I mean, I in the end i think i tried to make wanted to work out that there are like different roles that you have as a coach and like you need different perspectives but also like different pieces of knowledge and it's good to just get like deep understanding in, in all of those so that's also exactly what this course in the end is about to prepare um the the coaches that take part in in this one and i think it's a just great opportunity to get uh, input in that um because yeah the coaching job is a very interesting and complex one and like the more exchange also and exposure to other coaches and input you can get for that the, the better for sure and who has been your source of inspiration in your coaching philosophy um <laughs> uh, not crespo <laughs> uh, definitely not crespo um <laughs> Uh, I don't know, like, I, I think I pointed out, like, you know, like, as, as a player, I, I already came across a lot of uh, coaches, like, Jacopo really has got, you know, there are a lot of things that stuck with me from, from the time that I worked with him as my coach, um, but also since I became a coach myself, um, you know, I had, like, tons of interesting chats with um, specifically other European coaches on tournaments and so on. Um, like yeah, every every chat there is very interesting to be honest. So I've got like, I'm I'm in general. If you would know me a bit, and you ask me what's the one thing or like your you know the one favorite movie or something, you never get an answer from me. So uh, I can't give you the one source of, of inspiration. Um, that's that's an accumulation of all different kind of influences over my 44 years now. I will accept that answer as well. <laughs> And um, as we can see, this course is also uh, quite different compared to the rest of uh, coaching education in terms, of, in terms of content and also the length of the course. How do you think that the style of this course can, have a, can be beneficial for, for the coaching style in Europe and also the content? Um, I mean, 
like I've, this is the first week that I've been you know present so like in in terms of like getting the real detailed input of what's been delivered this is the first insight I have so like based on I can only answer this question based on the week basically but um, I think like what's been for, for me and you know I've only been part of like I've, I've been tutoring some of the things so for me it's been quite interesting also to as I said listening into the other parts and like you know the the um, bits that have been shared by Kenneth for example or Jakob and I think I think it, I'm really positive about the level of input that's coming so it's it's very you know yeah high quality and also uh, um, clearly I, I, you know I think sometimes coach education can go a bit broad and like too general and basic and so on but I feel like this one was more like hey if you if you consider these kind of things and you you get like knowledge and understanding in this that's where we can make a difference so um, when it comes to that, I'm, I'm, I'm really positive about the level of this course. And as you have mentioned before, you have already 44 years uh, of experience within this field. You were also a national coach in Germany. What do you think that you bring, you brought from the, uh, the German style to the, to the Scottish team? When you moved to, yeah, to Scotland to be the head coach, what did you bring from, from the other perspective? Um, oh, uh, to be honest, I think I, I tried to make like a quite conscious effort when I started in Scotland to not just come in and take over and say this is what I'm used to. Uh, for me, this was a big learning chance myself, first of all. So I think also like one of the first things that I said to the players was because um, it was also like it was running. There was a setup in place, um, so it was not like I didn't have to pick up like tons of pieces that just you know needed someone to jump in and fix everything um, but there was like a good setup in place already so I took the freedom to, to say to them look I first of all want to really understand what's happening here um, and I want to I want to I, I might the first two months I might just be here for individual chats get to know everyone in it but like just let it run and that was like very very eye-opening for myself because you know as much as you probably develop a certain style based on where you're from it's also quite limiting i suppose when you've been because i've been in the german center first as a player and then as a coach for 19 years same place um so yeah i, I almost tried that this was not going to happen that i just come in with what i was used to but you know first of all maybe widen my own horizon a little bit i think i've been quite good at that and since then we've been figuring out a mix I suppose and I, I also like to, to be honest it's something that someone else would have to answer almost if I'm actually very German in my approach I don't I wouldn't even know what exactly that means and um, let's not forget about your player background as well you have just mentioned it so I guess that you have that vision as a player also as a coach so what do you think that are the biggest uh, changes in terms of playing and coaching in Europe since you since you got started in this badminton world the main changes um so what well, you mean the main changes for me like in terms of perspective that you get or like in general yeah in general in europe the main changes in the playing style and also a uh, coaching style um i think you know like if you if you look at the coaches and the players that have been really successful <coughs> in 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 europe i think they're like very clear on like almost every little bit in terms of like what coaching means and what they want to achieve with their players like a very distinct strategy that they you know try to take and play it's like yeah like the understanding of the game i think you can see that the coaches in, in europe that have been successful are very very clear on that and then also the yeah like everything the foundation underneath like the understanding of what you have to do on a daily basis to get your players there i think there's a there's a very highly focused and distinct strategy um and that's quite inspiring to be honest you know like that you try to really come up with a proper strategy that you think through from front to back and not just maybe transport what's always been in place basically um, and in terms of like the level of knowledge and like the detailed understanding of all these little bits I think it just gets um, I mean that might be me you know like it might be that that's um, what I've picked up over the years and that I feel like my understanding also through the chats with other coaches has gone that way um, maybe that's not like how it's overall developed but like in terms of like how I perceive it that's that's the case and moving a little bit uh, to the takeaways of this project uh, the coaches have been sharing with us uh, during these months the different takeaways uh, from from the advanced coaching education what have been for you, uh, you the takeaways that you can take from the from the project 
Oh, um, so for me, it's always like actually like being involved as a tutor, even if I don't, you know, overthink the actual role, but like just the preparation process for this, you know, where you have to structure your own thoughts to then transport them to other people. So it also makes sense to them as a quite interesting one because you actually uh, may, maybe even uh, um, realize what the actual structure of your thoughts is. And like sometimes it's a very interesting process for yourself also. So I think that's my main takeaway almost by like pulling together what I was supposed to present. Um, yeah, just got clearer, I think, in my head also in that sense. Um, but also, um, yeah, like basically just by this in sitting in like with the other presentations and stuff, like almost like challenged a couple of my own views again also. And like that then starts a reflection process. Um, and I think that's probably like life, <laughs> I suppose. But that's definitely what happened with me this week again. And like both parts are, are very valuable, I think. And the uh, last question from my side, um, we have here 16 coaches from all over Europe making an investment and developing their careers uh, as coaches. What could be the biggest advice that you could give to these uh, 16 coaches? Why? As a coach. Yeah, yeah of course. I, I mean, like, I, I think it's, it's, it's super cool to see that people are, you know, taking part in this like this and like the, the goal of this course is to make a difference in European coaching also like, you know, in this, this big competition that we always perceive against Asia in badminton. Um, and like that's, that's, yeah, good to see that there's this drive basically and, um, you know, I just, let's say, I hope that all these guys are inspired and like just keep going with it and like really try to take on this challenge basically because it's a, yeah, it's a tough tough one but uh, also a very fun one I think if you're involved in it um, so yeah, for me it's first of all just good to see that we have like a, a, a yeah, strong coaching force around Europe that, that, that perceive that challenge the same way and want to make a difference and yeah, my, my, my wish or like my advice in that sense is like really keep going and try to not just like take part in this one but uh, this coaching education but like just you know stay on that path and, and really try to make a difference Thank you very much.